Friends, today is Saturday, February 3rd, 2024, and I want to read a wonderful passage we should all memorize, though it's not easy because it's a long run-on sentence, from Romans 8, it's verses 38 and 9. I am convinced, this is Paul speaking, and he's talked about death and dissolution and decay. He's talked about the fact that we know that God entered into it. He didn't spare his own son, but gave him up for us to give us access to a new kind of life in the midst of decay and dissolution. And as a result of that, he says, I am convinced that neither death nor life, not, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, not powers, nor heights, nor depths, or anything else in all creation can separate us from the love of God that we know in Christ Jesus our Lord. Well, Luther, the author of the great hymn, A Mighty Fortress, concludes his his hymn with this beautiful verse that is based on his uh, reading of Romans 8, the second part, of, second part of the chapter. He says, Let goods and kindred go, this mortal life also. The body they may kill, God's truth abideth still. His kingdom is forever. There's nothing can separate us in this life. No tragedy, no difficulty, no war, no disease. And so... Luther asks us, in a way, in this verse, to have a thought experiment. In your mind, can you let goods, all the things you own, and, and family relationships, your kindred, and let go of your life? Can you imagine your life at the end? Uh, the body they may kill. Can you move to that moment in your life to, to in effect, think forward to your death? Um, and then remember... With, your de with death and loss in mind, that no loss can destroy your citizenship in the kingdom that lasts forever. Luther, indeed, believed that all our relationships and our resources were a divine gift and a divine response and a responsibility. And we shouldn't take it lightly. But he also believed that although our faith is exercised in the midst of family and jobs and vocations, that our security is independent of all of these things. It rests solely on the will and provision of the king. And therefore, nothing can separate us from the love of God that we know in Christ Jesus. Let's do Luther's exercise. Take some time to do it today and uh, imagine our life without. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for kin and goods, for responsibility and resources and relationships, but help me to use them for your kingdom knowing that my ultimate security rests, is real and lasting, and is independent of my efforts and rests in you. Amen.